morning students welcome to chemistry class now today discussing about the from halo alkanes and halo aryls in the stereochemical aspects of neutrophilic substitution reactions stereochemical aspects of neutrophilic substitution reactions before going to that we must need that we must need the terms we know that is some basic stereochemical principles and notations principles and notations so in that in that first one is plane polarized light plane polarized light and optical activity optical activity so plane polarized light and optical activity what is plane polarized light plane polarized light so and uh, optical activity optical activity so suppose here when take the ordinary light ordinary ordinary light ordinary light generally ordinary light will direct it all sides all sides all sides directing all sides when this this passing through the nichol prism passing through the nichol prism nichol prism that this is the nichol prism and nichol prism that transmits ordinary light into plane polarized light plane polarized polarized plane polarized light plane polarized light so plane polarized light plane polarized means this is a plane a plane so that gives a plane polarized light plane polarized light so only one of the position one of the position here generally only one one plane polarized one plane one plane so not above and not below like this one plane plane so only the plane only one direction only one this is one plane this is one plane so this gives plane polarized light here when this plane polarized light passing through the passing through the certain compounds certain compounds it will be rotate either right side or left side either right side or left 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 side that is depend on the depend on the solution of the compound solution of the compound so if it is if it is right side if it is right side that is called dextro rotatory that is called dextro rotatory that is called dextro rotatory dextro rotatory that is so like this clockwise clockwise so clockwise clockwise and when the polarized light rotate to the left side to the left side like this that means anti clockwise anti clockwise anti clockwise so that is called levo rotatory levo rotatory levo rotatory so dextro rotatory and levo rotatory so dextro rotatory means means that is indicate positive that is indicates positive levo rotatory indicates negative levo rotatory indicates negative negative side so why how it is negative side and how it is positive side means here suppose this is scale so zero right side what is right side one two three like this all these positives and all these minus one minus two minus three this is left side minus negative so negative so that's why anti clockwise will rotate will rotate to the compounds what happened what happened that is called negative or levo rotatory 
डेक्सट्रो मीन डेक्सट्रो मीन राइट लेवर मीन लेफ्ट लेवर मीन लेफ्ट सो हियर द सटन कॉम्पोर्ड्स रोटेट द प्लेन पोलराइज लाइट सटन कॉम्पोर्ड्स कॉम्पोर्ड्स रोटेट रोटेट द प्लेन पोलराइज द लाइट when it is passed through when it is passed through they solutions they solutions such compounds are called optically active compounds such compounds are called optically active compounds so here the angles of rotation the angles of rotation is measured by a polarimeter angles of rotation is measured by polarimeter what is the polarimeter angles of rotation is measured by a polarimeter if the compound rotates if the compound rotates the plane the plane to the right to the right that is clockwise it is called dextro rotatory it is called dextro rotatory that is positive right side positive if the left side left if the uh, to the right side that is clockwise it is called dextro rotatory positive if that is left it is called lever rotatory that is negative anti clockwise anti clockwise so this is dextro rotatory and dextro rotatory and lever rotatory right side and left side clockwise and anti clockwise clockwise and anti clockwise positive and negative so this is also called d form or l form d form d means dextro l means lever d form and lever forms so such that positive d form means positive and l form means negative so positive and the negative forms positive and negative forms isomers of a compound is called optical isomers such positive and negative iso uh, compound uh, isomers of a compound isomers of a compounds are called optical isomers that phenomena is called that phenomena is called optical isomerism that phenomena is called optical isomerism so optical isomerism means here if the when the, when the pa passing plane polarized light through the solutions that polarized light polarized light may be rotated left side or for the left side and the uh, right side the rotate the the rotation is called optical active compound the compounds are optical active compounds so the form form d uh, d and l forms negative and positive rotations of the compounds are called optical isomers optical isomer that phenomena is called optically that phenomena is called optical isomerism that phenomena is called optical isomerism optical isomerism optical isomerism optical isomerism so this is the plane polarized light and optical activity plane polarized light optical activity so this is ordinary light microprism plane of the formation plane polarized light plane polarized light then when this passing through the passing through the solution solution passing through the solution so that is what happened right side that is rotate rotated spin rotated to the right side rotated to the right side and the type of solutions are called positive solutions means positive solutions means dextro rotatory dextro rotatory so clockwise clockwise rotation will observe so the type of such type of solution compounds are called act, optically active compounds optically active compounds so positive and negative isomers of compounds are called compounds are called optically optical isomers the phenomena is called optical isomerism optical isomerism so this is this is this is here clockwise clockwise and here anti clockwise anti clockwise anti clockwise
anti clockwise so this is optical isomerism now we are going to the another bit uh, in the next terms we will discussing about the in another video